Welcome back. Britain announced the appointment of Abida Sharif as the new ambassador of the United Kingdom to Yemen. The appointed diplomat worked as the head of the Iraq and Arabian Peninsula Department and the Middle East and North Africa Directorate. This report has more. British authorities have appointed lawyer and diplomat Abida Sharif as the UK's new ambassador to Yemen. She will be taking up her post in September and succeeds Richard Oppenheim, who will move to another diplomatic role. Ms. Sharif's most recent position was head of the Iraq and Arabian Peninsula Department in the Middle East and North Africa. Between 2012 and 2016, she served as Deputy Ambassador to Lebanon. Before that, in 2011, she led the UK office in Benghazi in Libya. Ms. Sharif said in a message posted on Twitter referring to the UK's embassy in the country that she is delighted to be the next UK ambassador to Yemen and look forward to returning to the Middle East. Following the start of the war in Yemen in late 2014, the UK closed its embassy in Sana'a and transferred its ambassador and staff to Riyadh. Sharif's appointment comes at a time when the UN Special Envoy for Yemen, Hans Gomberg, and the international community, including the UK, are stepping up pressure on the Yemeni government and the Houthis to reach an agreement that can end the long-running civil war. Extensive international efforts have so far failed to persuade the Houthis to formally renew a long-term UN brokered ceasefire after a temporary truce expired in October of last year or to end their drone and missile attacks on oil facilities in government-controlled provinces, which have halted exports that provide the country's main source of income. The Houthis have said they will only see their attacks on the facilities if the Yemeni government shares oil revenues with them and pays public employees in areas they control. Meanwhile, the militia have launched drone and ground attacks in government-controlled territories across the country over the past 48 hours. Sporadic fighting between the Houthis and government forces has been reported in a number of contested areas in the country. Residents of the city have long complained that the UN broker truce has neither halted arbitrary bombardments and ground attacks by the Houthis, nor eased the militia siege of the city. The UK is the pen holder on Yemen at the UN Security Council. That means that the UK has the power to draft and table Security Council products on Yemen, including press statements, resolutions and presidential statements and more.